Welcome to day four of my Spyro 2 playthrough. <clears throat> we are going to just jump right into this and we're starting off with the final level. Finally done with Autumn Plains. Which is just a simple old speedway. Should be fairly quick depending on how hard the orb challenge is. Okay, the ice skaters are also different. This is going to take a hot minute to figure out what pathing I need to be taking. I am nowhere. Okay, where are all the... Flying guys. I can only assume the sea dragons are the la- Yeah, the serpent. You know, I said this was going to be a quick one, but goddamn, that didn't start with any obvious pattern. Well, let's just start with arches. Arches are always a good thing to start with. The question is, do I need to... I probably need to be getting the serpents at the same time. Two more ice skaters. Okay, one more. Okay, this actually... There he is. This turned out super easy. I literally just had to follow the arches. That was the key. Because that gave me the tour of the entire spot. <sighs> And then all the lining up made sense. So I was right with my initial assessment of that. It was nice, easy, and quick. Oh, that's the new... Okay. The native apex is here. Forgot that was today. The next world. Let's do it this way. Winter Tundra. <laughs> what I wonder, do they have... At the end of the first game, they had a bonus level where you just flew around and collected a bunch of treasure. I wonder if there's something like that in this game. Regardless if there is or not, gotta start out by getting these 400. Oh. Cool. I wasn't 100% sure if that was actually gonna work or not. Ice. Oh, if they introduce a lot of ice physics, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Just a little annoyed. Well, 
well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech port. Well, cool. I wonder. By the time I'm done with this, I'll just need 2,000 more orbs, which is 5 more level- or 2,000 more gems, which is 5 more levels. I have 46 orbs. I can only assume there's going to be 60. No. Yeah, maybe 60 in the game? That might actually be too many. Because if there's only 5 more levels... I would need uh, 14, 3. Oh, yeah. It'll be 60 orbs in the game. How many orbs do I have? 3 in this overworld. I especially there will be 60 in this game because I have 3 in this overworld. That makes sense. Okay, the trunk is just cosmetic. Or it's going to be part of a side mission for an orb. Into the castle, never mind. Now into the castle! <laughs> to get into the final fight because I think I guess maybe I don't have all the talisman they probably are gonna say I have to get a few more talisman I can see you've learned the value of orb Spyro this touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection 100 percenting as you go has massive perks in games like this because you just never have to worry you always have enough for money bags, you always have enough orbs. Oh, hello. Orbs to unlock the new levels right away. Well, that was, I think, the easiest orb I've ever seen. On one of these overworld levels. Usually they're at least covered by something hidden, even if they're not hard to get to. Okay, I can only. This sent me really high. So where can I. Why to? This is just a fast way to get up here. Ah, he could be. All right, Spyro. Now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Oh shit! I can instantly just go in and fight Ripto. It was purely going to be based off of orbage. a whole spot over here. Ooh. Not mean to jump there. Down we go. Oh, there's another of the three orbs. I wonder where the last one's going to be. Let's gather this real quick. 
Oh, there was a point to this path over here. I just didn't look. I literally ran up to this. I think it's because I kept the camera at an angle like this and never actually looked around. The so I missed the staircase. The very, very obvious staircase. Oh, just four more. Yep, here it is. There's all of that. Now let's pay to have this one unlocked. For you, You've chosen wisely. Oh, it's the speedway. Oh, interesting. Oh, 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 I wonder. I think I know how to get to that one. The question now is going to be where the third one is. Right there. I just noticed that rock and I was like, I'm, I've gotten all the uh, crisp, or I guess all the gems, but yet I haven't destroyed this rock. That makes sense. And now, if I do say so, oh, I don't, or I guess I do want to dive. Okay, I do want to dive down. Got it. I'm out here, and the overworld is 100% complete. And you know what? Since we're here, let's just jump into this speedway. Then all the speedways will be complete. Now, there's been a lot of updates today for games for me. Because when I turned on my PlayStation, there were a bunch waiting. Okay, so one, I needed to run on that the whole time. Hey, Demon. It's going pretty good. How's it going for you? Missed him. Come on, come on. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. No, I think it was going to work, I'm, but I shouldn't do it that way. Oh, 
any trophy, any game with trophies based off RNG, just can go suck a dick. <laughs> because RNG trophies are just awful. I have st hit the point of RNG trophies just on a personal level that I will pr I tend to just say I don't need to get the platinum in this game if there's RNG trophies involved anymore. And so I have, I currently do have one game that I'm one trophy away and I've just, I'm giving up because it's just pure RNG based and I'm not about to sit there and attempt to run around and find the remaining seeds or what you're collecting for hours. Once again, I, uh, Apparently opted to do this the stupid way. But we're gonna see if it works. Fuck me! It fucking hell. Okay, I need to. Oh, I need to take those guys out earlier. Because that's just an awful spot and based on the timing. Okay, I think I need to. See, I am a very similar way, but like, the game, uh, that like, I've just completely given up on is because of RNG, I have been try- I tried for the trophy for, I think it's probably seven or eight straight hours at this point, and there's no sign. It's just, I ha I can't get what I need because it is complete RNG. And I have decided that maybe my time is a little more, or my time is more suited to getting trophies in other games than it is to just get that one flat. No, fuck. Okay, maybe this way will work. Cool, that was much easier. And I say I've given up on it, but at some point I'm sure I'll sit down and I'll try another couple hours of grinding for the items. And I probably won't get it and then I'll set it down for another month or two. I have not. Is that a difficult one to get the platinum on? Or I guess I can only assume based on the conversation, uh, is that one with a lot of RNG based trophies? <laughs> into this one. What is it? What type of... Uh, I guess you say right there it's an RPG game. 
you know? Since you too are a trophy connoisseur, I can only imagine that when you say it's an easy game, or it's a lot easier to get trophies and it's fun. I'm going to mark that down and look into it. Because I'm always looking for fun, easy games to get trophies in, like this. Just like Spyro. Fun, very easy game to 100%. <laughs> But based on you saying you're currently going back to try and get trophies, that must mean you finally turned your PlayStation on again. Or I guess you're finally back to doing some PlayStation gaming. Oh, jeez. No. Fuck. Didn't expect that thing to chase me so far. Okay, well, that was a little bit. Um, Where's a little critter that I can... Destroy to get sparks back. Hmm. I guess I should probably listen to the Things intro aren't here. The same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Okay, so talisman are off the table. Oh, I forgot to get the... I'm gonna have to go back down and get... I forgot to get the orb in the other speedway also. For you, does it... Are you just an achievement fanatic in general and so does it matter for you whether you're playing computer versus playstation or are you more uh mainly into just the trophy system for playstation Oh, I didn't see that guy up there, damn it. Okay, same. Because I've definitely, I have looked at like Steam achievements and stuff, and I've thought about maybe going after them, but I, it just seems like, it doesn't seem as exciting for some reason compared to getting the platinum trophy and all the other trophies. I know that much considering you've been playing so many PC games with Matt recently. I'm assuming you're pretty excited for Thursday to start getting to play the new map for zombies. I'm gonna be honest, I've not- I'm nowhere near into zombies as like you. Or mad are. But even I'm a little pencil, excited just because it. it'll be something fun to play. Egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. My, do I need that pencil back? Oh, here's another. Oh, the egg for the pencil, not the... Okay. 
Well, I don't know where I need to take this. zombies for literal probably if I think about it I haven't played zombies until Matt or I guess until my brother got me Cold War for Christmas I hadn't played zombies in probably seven years six seven years and I forgot how fun it really can be. Especially for me, it's just a fun game that I sometimes will turn on if I'm in the middle of watching a TV show. Just to have mindlessly be playing zombies as I watch TV or a movie or something. Because once you get the patterning down, zombies, especially on the current map. No, yeah, and the last time I played zombies, it was with friends. I also hadn't been a, hadn't had any friends who wanted to play zombies until, uh, I noticed until you and Matt started playing it on Cold War, and then I, and my brother said he would be interested in playing it. Okay, well, I just need to not worry about this egg. But zombies is uh, such a fun, casual, play-with-your-friends style game. I do have to also say, I am now much better at games and specifically shooters than I was last time I played zombies as well. Because when I used to play zombies with my friends, if we would hit round 20, we would get super hype and excited. And now, and that would be with a group of four of us. And now I can solo to around 20 consistently while mindlessly playing and not really paying attention. It's just really made me realize how I have actually made good improvement with my gaming skill in the past decade. <laughs> those monkeys, the damn lemurs. Hey, I mean, you have Matt. In all honesty, the only people I play video games with is Matt, uh, you in return, in, by extension, because we always, Matt always invites both of us and my brother. Most of my other friends who are even into video games are either purely into, like they will only ever play single player games, or they are just Xbox people. And I don't have, and not into any cross platform games that I could play with them. Ow. 
There we go. Well, if it makes you feel better, I agreed to play Zombies on Thursday with you and Matt on the new map, and you two will be hard carrying me, because in comparison, I am going to get, I'm going to be awful, because I may have improved compared to how I was at a younger age, but I would still not consider myself anywhere near you or Matt's level. So I fully expect on Thursday to have most of the jokes be about carrying me more than you two carrying each other. Oh wow, I already have over 300. lemur. Really hope that's the last lemur of this level. See, for me, the interesting part, a huge reason why I do so well with zombies right now is that current map. I watched all of Matt's charity streams. Like, almost from beginning to end on most of them, and so that was like 15, like 10 to 15 hours of straight watching somebody show me the pathing path and little tips and tricks. Whereas on this new map, I'm, we're all going to have to learn different pathings path ourselves as we go. And it's going to really show whether I just am really good at memorizing the pathing path and what to do in situations or if I can actually do stuff on the fly. Because I, can, I honestly can't say which it is. Because it's just... Because I know so much about that first map thanks to Matt. Another... Oh, is this another... Oh, this is another hole. I didn't even notice this. I think... I realized this was a different hole down here. It's always, I, since I, I get really sad as well when I go through that list, but I always just tell myself, for me personally, I didn't start trophy hunting until a, like just over a year ago. Like I just hit my one year trophy hunting anniversary uh, near the end of January, like the last week of so the last week, I think. So if I look at my list, I have so many games uncompleted, and a lot of them I won't complete. Here, take this orb. Because there's just so much to do. Do and co new games are constantly coming out, especially once it really gets into these new PS5 games coming out. It's going to be, I'm going to be crazy busy oh, trophy fire. hunting. A friendly face, a bunch of rotten thieves have stolen my.
I do have to say though, credit, I have to give some credit to you with my uh, game selection on what I'm going for for trophies because I have gone in and just compared our trophy lists and I've just found which easy games, like what games have you completed that are on the easy side and just pretty much used your list as a guide of what would be good ones to go trophy hunting in or what games would be good games to trophy hunt in. I feel like I kind of cheated the system there and he shouldn't have been standing for me to do that. Okay. Shit, where did he... There's that. Yeah, it's amazing to me that in the scheme of things, it's like I have, I'm just about to the 40 platinum trophy mark, I think. It's like I'm in the, I think I'm in the mid 30s for platinum trophies. And if we compare our lists, it amazes me how few games we actually overlap. And it just constantly is a reminder to me that there's just so many options. For getting trophies that we could each have a hundred platinum trophies and we could only match on like 20 of them in the scheme of things and it's just interesting to think about how do you feel about their new uh, level system that they implemented like a year ago well, not even less than a year ago, but they implemented, I think, this past spring. Of where they have the levels in the hundreds, and then you go, you have different ranks ranging from like three different ranks of bronze trophy or bronze, three different ranks of silver, three different ranks of gold, and then the final rank of platinum. Because it's drastically different than it used to be with just like the level one, two, three, four. Oh, where the fuck did this guy go? Oh, where'd the fucking rabbit go? Not rabbit. I was definitely thrown by it right away too, but I think I'm going to, I think I like it more purely for the fact that now I have a goal. Because before it was just levels and the levels never truly, cor like didn't really correspond to much besides saying how many trophies you've gotten. Now they have it set up that depending on how many, like, the trophy number you have. Where do you go? Oh, god damn it. Corresponds to a lot or a rank, and so I highly doubt I will ever be able to reach it before they revamp the level system again, which I'm sure is going to happen at some point. But I have a goal of someday reaching the platinum trophy rank. I did. I literally, I have three trophies left to get. And all I have to do, one of them super easy. I just have to get two friends to play with me and I win a game. That one, the only reason I haven't gotten that one is because I'm too lazy to organize a group, group to play with. Um, the other two are going to suck. Yeah, I figured you would, but the other two are going to suck, and so I just I have very little motivation to go for even that one because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get the last two. 
because one of them is obviously win five games in a row. That's just ridiculous and shouldn't be a trophy. The other one I have also come to realize is ridiculous. Oh, he just lands up there? God damn it, this is difficult. But the last one that I think might be just as difficult, if not more difficult, than win five times in a row is win a team game with just a single point. Because that is such RNG. Like, that's completely beyond my skill because it's so... It's completely team-based and there's only one game that it can realistically happen on and that's fall ball and the odds of winning fall ball one to zero is so slim god damn it this is a dumb kangaroo to have to catch Oh shit, this is the path I'm supposed to be chasing him on. I was going backwards. Oh fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, now this, I think, should become manageable. Catch this kangaroo, now that I know the pathing. Oh fuck me. But, Fall Guys is another game that I have come to terms with the fact that I will probably never platinum it. Doesn't mean I won't occasionally try. But I have just accepted the fact that the platinum is very likely out of my reach. And I've come to terms with it. And I'm okay with it at this point. As annoyed as I used to be with it. Oh, what the fuck? He can quick turn? Yeah, that's another thing of... Uh, to... I feel to truly, truly get in... Because even, like, the two of us, we love getting trophies, but we're... Neither of us are anywhere near the level of, like, the top trophy collector people. And those people have friends that they play grind out all those co-op trophies and they cheese the system to constantly get all the co-op trophies. Oh, fuck off, game. This kangaroo's a fucking bitch and I hate this. I hate chasing things in these Spyro games. Yeah, because it's like, where do I catch up at? Not there. God damn it. There are some games that I would love to platinum trophy but they have online aspects to them, online and co-op aspects. And although it is technically possible, the grind would be outrageous because there's just, I don't have the group of friends necessary to grind it out with me. 
Fucking kangaroo. Do you not have all the Spyro trophies? I thought you did. Wait, where the fuck did the kangaroo go? Wait, what the fuck? Where is he? God damn it. I thought you had all the Spyro trophies when I was comparing our trophy collections. Yes! Okay. Oh, I guess I just saw them as games you had on the list and didn't pay attention that you didn't actually have the plats on them. Well, I can say uh, Spyro 2 is uh, as easy as Spyro 1, but is definitely longer. Heavily due to these orb collection or quests to get orbs. Now I need to find this last fucking kangaroo. Oh, there he is. Oh, I had that. Oh, crap. Crap. There's no way to get up. That's a fuck. Oh, it better. I better have three fucking. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, no, it fucking didn't. Oh, piece of shit game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that game coming out. I have only played part of one Ratchet and Clank game. And that is, I went, because I plan on playing, I want to play as many as possible before the new one comes out. Okay, cool, it did give, keep me with everything. But the one I started was uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One, and boy is that not a great game, which matches up with everything I've read about it. But at some point, I need to get down and play all of them. I, I think I'll stream the PS4 Ratchet and Clank probably right before the new one comes out, and then... Yeah, all for one, just uh, even looking at the trophy list, it's, it's one of those that, once again, if I had, if I played with somebody, it wouldn't probably be that bad. But without that, it's like all for one is just very much based on playing with other people. But I'm for sure going to play all the other ones at some point. I don't know if I'll... I probably won't stream them. Yeah, but I'll for sure be streaming the PS4 one at some point. And then... Here's another. When the new one comes out, I'll... I don't know if I'll stream it, but I'll for sure play it. Because I've heard amazing things about Ratchet and Plank. Ratchet and Clank, ugh. Yeah. I have, uh, as much as I enjoy the Assassin's Creed games, I have also just avoided getting in a trophy mindset <laughs> ever with them because I know 
that uh, half of them have multiplayer style trophies. Duh. Oh, fuck. Really? What does he have against Ratchet and Clank? Not, I guess not that I've played them, so it's hard for me to really say if I like them or not. But they just seem like simple, like, action platformers. Okay, where do I need to take this egg? Gonna talk to the professor again. Actually, pay attention to where he says I need to take the egg. Oh. My, do I need that pencil back? All right, I've got. Fuck! Ah, oh, shit. Who do I need to bring this egg to? It almost has to- wait a second. Nope, that didn't. It almost has to have to do something with that. Oh, oopsies. Overshot it. Out of curiosity, I don't think I've ever asked you this before, Demon. What is your proudest Platinum Trophy? Out of all of them, which one are you most proud of? So I don't bring it there? Oh, do I bring it... Okay, so bring it there. That makes sense. I should have realized. Oh, this is going to be a process. Now I'm understanding why I was seeing all these things that I hadn't used yet. Because this is just a process. Yep, and now bring the duck over to its mother. I'm sure there's at least one that has to stick out. At least one, if not like maybe two. Wait, shit, what is... Where do I plant this now? Okay, where does this one go? Looks like something I need to plant. Nothing's up here.
something in here? Oh, oh, yes, there is, was something in here. I forgot. So this needs to go in the pot. Okay. That gets me a coin, but what does this coin get me? Oh, shit. Oh shit, went too far. Nope, okay, so that's purely for that. Okay, put it in there. Okay, so those would be like the games you say are, are or would consider to be your proudest achievements of all your platinum trophies. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb for safekeeping. Alora thinks I'm going to lose it. Okay, let's go back to this speedway and get the orb. I mean, that's fair. Like, super easy games, definitely understandable. But I can... The game that is currently and i don't know it's going to be hard to top for me my clear cut personal proudest is uh my beat saber platinum trophy although it didn't take me like in terms of game time right, it definitely Spyro. wasn't the you longest my plane? I just fixed it took it. me to ever I'm plat a game because sure i think now. i only have probably like I probably have over a hundred hours put into the game, but a vast majority of my time playing Beat Saber, I wasn't even going for the trophy. I was literally just playing for fun. In terms of me actually going for trophies in Beat Saber, not just fucking around and playing for fun, I probably spent prob only 40, 50 hours on it, but it was so difficult uh, that although it didn't take forever, it was just hard that it is by far my proudest. Okay, Spyro, here's what you gotta do. I've got the plane on remote. Okay, circle to fire. Oh shit, missed one already. Hey, you missed Okay, it. now I understand. I don't need to control, I don't control. Let's get roll the
Uh... Oh, I thought I was. Oh shit, shit, fuck, I didn't pay. Fuck, I looked away hey, one second. Target. That's okay. God damn it, I Let's had go. it. There was. I got lazy because I figured it was essentially done. All it took was that one small mistake. just been spamming this the whole time. that one. I need to go back to the other speedway. And get that one. Dude, same. Because purely from the fact of... Which reminds me, I need to get the... February PlayStation Plus games added to my library after this. Because it's the first Tuesday of the month. But <laughs> having PlayStation Plus and just getting the free games every month... It is literally... Good job, Spyro. So Looks easy like to have for a more tons of games challenge. that you just haven't played. A little because most of the games they give out. Great! I'll tell you behind my snowmobile uh, and you maneuver through are the Are fine Don't games, but they're also not going to be worthwhile playing. Okay, well, missed hey, it instantly. I heard you were good at this flying stuff. Great! That control, this controlling is strange. Oh, I see. It's classic uh, three rail type shit. Oh shit! I that hey, perspective I fucked with me. This. Great. I thought I just had to go back to the middle. I didn't expect to have to go back. To the left for that one. Even though I do have to say, if you ever go through your library and just look, I bet you have a few games that I have platinum that took literally like two to four hours. Greedfall was last month, wasn't it? <clears throat> I 
Or am I mistaken? I might be mistaken. Greedfall might not have been last month, but I thought I already had Greedfall in my library from last month. Oh, interesting. Usually it's the first Tuesday of every month. It's not often that they have it on the second Tuesday. Even though I guess maybe it is often that they don't do it, because I more than... I usually forget. Uh, to check. early in the month, and I usually end up getting this stuff like the third or fourth week. The Mystic Marsh. I have got- why does it not show my completion orbs on there? Lame. Okay, one more pause. Okay. Let's come in here. This one. be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians, until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic within to take over the city. Three orbs. Got it. Oh, geez, I didn't expect the second rapid shot. I really should. I just should start expecting a whole bunch of quick fire from ranged enemies at this point. Oh, I didn't, ex I should have died. Didn't see that coming. I thought that was going to be something that uh, I had to break open. Yes, that is another thing. There are so many games I still need to Play. Because this whole past year, I've been going back and playing all the, like, Infamous, Uncharted, and a bunch of games from my past that I wanted to platinum. I still need to go back and start to play those games that I've never played before, but I need to. Because I need to play all the Resident Evil games. Or at least all the remakes. I don't have much interest in playing the originals. I'll just play seven and then the remakes they've been putting out so far. And then obviously eight, whenever, when eight comes out. Oh, the vortex right here. Wait, the remake of RE4 doesn't have a flat? But that's like a complete full game. Why would they not have given it a flat? That's actually, I mean, I'll still play the game because I've heard good things about the game, but that's kind of sad. And very surprising, because... Because which ones have they remade so far? They've remade... Was it 3 and 4, or 2, 3, and 4? Oh, 
Oh, fucker, I fucking... It's so... that's mind-blowing to me that it wouldn't have a plat, though. I can only assume it's, uh... Either like the speed run trophy or do it I'm going to my without. I think there isn't Only there one where it's do it without ever saving. Like to go there. Oh, well, that's good. I'm always, any game with a speedrun trophy always makes me nervous because from my experience, they're either not that difficult or just stupid hard. to get here without following me you must be a member of my secret club after all here take hate to break it to you there good sir but that is not a secret decoder oh yeah that's that's gonna be that sounds like it could be a pain because I know the game can get difficult even though I guess once you've played through it a few times, it probably gets substantially easier. Break it with my head bash. Okay, so let's come over now. Oh, bell tower. What more do I have to get? Oh, DLC trophies. That's one thing in games that I have fully just. Unless I'm really into the game or the DLC trophies are just that easy, I have no problem ignoring DLC trophies. And I'm glad I have that mindset considering I just platted uh, Final Fantasy XIV. And even with all the trophies, I have less than 50% of the total number total trophies available to the game because there are so many DLC trophies that you can plat and still only be 50% completion on trophies which is crazy because just the base game I think has 64 I think it's over 60 trophies for that base game That game also has an RNG based trophy that I was super scared of but got very lucky in the end game to actually get it. 
because one of those trophies and there's a high chance you've already gotten it because it's just it's completely up to RNG oh yeah Final Fantasy games are awesome I've only I, I say that having only played two of them but the two that I played I loved I played 13 and 15 and love both of them That's another- Oh, f I just did the exact same thing I did last time. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, considering- I will say, between 13 and 15, I much preferred 13. Or, I guess, 13 is my favorite between those two. So, in my opinion- In my viewpoint, that's not an unpopular opinion, because I- I'm sure I am going to agree. Freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Even if I play a lot Please more of the Final Fantasy order. games. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Oh, I don't even have over 300 yet. Okay, have I taken out enough enemies? I do- okay. I have- I played part one and two. I didn't- I have own and started but never completed part three because I did not like how they set up part three. I thought part three was not set up well at all. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but, but the first two parts were awesome. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Yeah, for me personally, I uh, firmly accept uh, Final Fantasy 13 as only being two parts because it works fine that way. <laughs> and that third part, it was just set up so weird. I, I give the game developers credit for trying, but a real-time Final Fantasy fantasy game is just something that or I guess a real time limit on a Final Fantasy game is something that I don't think should hopefully they never try again Because Final Fantasy games, I much prefer... Oh, shit, I needed to go all the way over there, didn't I? I much prefer being able to take my time and enjoy the story, explore the area. Okay, I froze that one a little high. Afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can. I need to play a lot of them because, as I said, I've only played two. I've loved. That seems like he was a bit uh, frozen there, and not in the way I needed him to be. Oh, that was way too high. Okay, let's retry this. No, yeah, playing through uh, the Final Fantasy games is definitely on my to-do list. I 
I just have to get around to doing it because there's so much on my to-do list. Oh, I barely timed that. <laughs> Spyro, I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a. Okay, so that means I just have gems left. Oh, I didn't mean to. I did mean to. wait for my fire to come back. Okay, so that'll take care of that. Oh, okay, I see the two pots there. Is there anything else I can get up here that I couldn't get to? Oh, there's two silver pots over there. Really, no gems in those pots. That's kind of a nuisance. I did not realize. Wait, did they? They did announce. I didn't realize they had announced uh, 16 yet. I thought there were rumors, but I'm also behind the times in terms of game announcements. That's the last of those. Um, let's go to the end of this level then. Wait, Final Fantasy 16 is on the PS5 store? Well, is it? Because <laughs> I have, I'm blind as a bat. I don't see it. Because these are the coming... So I guess let's go to the full coming soon section. Reorder. Is it in here? Is it supposed to be hitting the coming soon section, like, in the next week or two? Is that what it is? Because it's definitely not there. If it, I'm going to be honest. If it was in the coming soon section right there, I probably would have just pre-ordered it right on the spot. <laughs> That's a, the main reason I just checked, because I am for sure going to get that game. I honestly didn't even realize Final Fantasy 16 had even been announced, so it's all news to me. Okay, so 800 more.
Dude, I did not expect the PS5 post Christmas to still be this difficult to get. I fully thought part of the reason that the PS5 was so hard to get was because everybody was wanting to get it for either themselves or somebody else for Christmas. But I was wrong. It's still not available like anywhere. And it's crazy. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more feeding pests. So, collections. Oh, shit. Oh, just a... Okay. Okay. I didn't... I'm going to be honest. I didn't realize there was a coming soon section here. <laughs> I only knew of the pre-order section. Okay, so that is just an ass. I can't pre-order it yet. I probably will pre-order it, just like I'm going to pre-order Horizon. I'm going to pre-order Ratchet and Clank. Let's see what else of these I'm going to definitely be pre-ordering. Um... Oh, yeah, well, actually, looks at... Those are the three main ones I'm for sure pre-ordering. But good to know, that means it is on the horizon. I'm definitely going to remember that little coming soon section as well because then instead of uh, paying and trying or hearing about games and situations like this from other people that are coming soon that'll be my way of knowing because I don't follow any gaming news a whole lot Okay, you know what? At, that's how I'm going to end the stream today. I'm going to end the stream by watching that trailer because I'm very curious. What am I? So there's three orbs. Well. I'm assuming the trailer has um, a release date on it, or is it just a teaser trailer that doesn't even have a release date? Well, now you won't have to because I'll watch it. Okay, so that's definitely not just a teaser trailer. But does it have a release date on it? Or is it still far enough out that it's just, like, coming 2022 or something like that? Like so many of the PS5 games said about just coming 2021. Alright, now I knew. Come back here. Oh! Well, that's exciting. And that actually... That should time well because uh, Horizon Forbidden West should be out before then so I can complete that as well as the new Ratchet and Clank game should be out before then. 
if I can complete that. And those are two of the main games that I'm focused on. There are others that I'll play along the way, obviously, but those are like the two main that I'm super looking forward to. I got- I was like, shit, did the fan just do damage to me? That would have been unfortunate. electrocuting this water and can I turn it off because I'd feel much safer if I didn't have electrical water to worry about landing in. I mean, I didn't even accept your quest, but I will take your orb. Old man, robot farmer. any other gyms over here. Okay, that's an elevator. Is it going to come back down? Okay, good. I was like, did I just fuck myself? Oh shit, can't hit him. But if I take the elevator, I can. Oh. Oh, did it already? Did it just give me? Th oh, it did just. Uh, no, it didn't. I was like, did it auto give me the gems? It did not. Okay, so just have just over 200, unfortunate. This one actually moves. The other two didn't seem to want to move. Okay. Oh, that's... Is that gonna hurt me? Oh no, that's just a... interesting. That looked like this was gonna be a path for me to run along. And maybe it will. Maybe I have to turn off those things? I don't know.
Or I might have to have like a super dash active to break through. timing. Couldn't have been worse. That was awful. Oh shit. Oh, I needed to do my, uh, my little glide hop. Shit. I am real bad at timing this. Ooh, made it. I'm out of here. Almost to the 300 mark. The last, I don't know why, but once I reach the 300, oh, fuck me. Once I reach the 300 mark, it always seems that the last 100 go way faster than the 2 to 300. Fucking bad timing. Okay, now let's not fall off the edge like an idiot. Let's get up here and see what's what. Well, that's the end of the level right there. Other farmer is going to be the final orb. Way to go, Spyro! Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. Ooh, didn't fuck up. <laughs> I was, like, truly, I was scared that I was going to miss that and have to embarrass myself with that jump again. Which I still actually might have to. I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you can... Um... What? Oh, got time to embarrass myself again with this. Where did I need to go there? I don't even know. I just jumped into the pumpkin and lost my location. Well, since I'm down here, let's just take care of this pesk of a Thing. Oh shit! I guess now that that's on, is that- did I just see an easier way to get back up? I think I did. Okay, I don't have to embarrass myself, or risk embarrassing myself. I can just use this. Or this takes me somewhere else, entirely. Well, I'm just going to follow this path, get all these so I don't have to worry about missing them as I do my little run. Because, boy, am I not going... I'm going to be focused way more on just staying on the path than I will be. Ah, uh, hitting all the gems when I do that. Now, where did that jar go? Not 
put up there. Oh. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do this real quick. Okay, well, there's a few more cars. Oh shit, I didn't think it was going to keep going. Motherfucker. God damn it. Oh fuck. It does keep going. Shit. Well, well, I guess we're gonna do that again. That was so smooth. I was actually happy with myself. I should have known it wouldn't end after the single door. I just assumed that door is what he wanted me to get through. Ooh, okay. There's that orb. Last of the gems. Where are they? Okay, so they're over. They're over here. Oh, yeah, I literally just missed a couple gems right there. And over there? Oh, I also missed a base? Interesting. Thank God for sparks. I would be blindly running everywhere for so long if I didn't have him showing me precisely where I need to be. This should be... Yeah, because I only need 35 more. And I would assume there's at least, oh, that I would assume the last 35 are all in here. Yeah, they were. Okay. Back to the finish, which has a nice shortcut right here. You know, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish this game tonight. I am 100% finishing this game tonight. <laughs> Because I literally only have one more level left before the final boss fight. And I can only imagine this final level, I'll probably get done around 8, maybe a little after. And there's no way the final boss fight is going to take me in a, more than an hour. Okay, so where... Okay, so there was that... Okay, over here, yep. This is where the last level's at. I forgot to do that on the last one. This insurrection from the I've been good on doing that, I think, on most of them. Hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Okay. 
four. Oh, okay, so they have 64 orbs. That makes sense. That also means this is probably going to be a slightly longer level. Unless, ooh, they might have a single, like, multi-phase challenge to get two orbs. Cuts. These elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it will start working again if you just give it a good whack, though. Okay. A good use for that headbutt of mine. Well, that pig I expected to be a harder enemy, if I'm gonna be honest. Didn't expect him just to slowly... Okay, that one was faster. That first one just felt slow, and I was like, wait, you're an enemy? Shit. <laughs> Boom. This level is super linear, and so missing a gym probably would. I probably did miss one. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. I was gonna say missing a gym is a lot harder, but I'm almost certain I missed one already, just knowing me. And also, I made fun of the pigs early on, and boy, was that karma biting me in the ass right there. Getting triple teamed. What do you need me to do, Mr. Droid? Box has taken over our armory, and here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I would advise using the bombs against it, and it will probably take several bombs at that. A mini boss. I accept. This is so hard to control. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so two more bombs. Fuck! Fuck me. Oh. Oh shit, one more. God damn it. <laughs> Woo. That this was close. Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Dude. Take this visually pleasing. If, no, no, I refuse. <laughs> I will. am not afraid to admit that if the boss wound up being the fucking nameless king. Of all things, I would just stop playing this game for quite a while. Because <laughs> that would just be straight up unfair. There's something in here that will blow this up. Oh, shit. I'll have to come back to that metal crate. I have no idea. 
Because there might be a power up later and I might have to use that to rush back. Or I might activate something that changes a bunch of shit. I don't even know. Up. Cool. Up we go. Oh, fucking pigs. Okay. Not all of that. I'm in five fucked that up. Yeah. Oh, did you both? They both got hits on me. God damn it. If I could find one of those little egg boys, give me sparks back, that would be great. Oh, interesting. A also interesting. A double power-up. Super Flame and Infinifly. First I need Spark back. Oh, did that just give me a full Sparks right there? Huh. Okay, just over 200 on the gems. Before I go use that power up, I want to see what all I can. I want to get as much as I can. I like saving those power ups for last. But it looks like I won't be able to because. Definitely need to go use that right now. Is there anything else down here? Nope. Oh, that prop of that that brought me up from outside. That one would only take me back down. This one brings me up. Okay, let's just start flying. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Don't even have to complete a challenge. Oh, that's the end of the level. That makes sense. It's a first for Avalar. A combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I guess the sheep probably aren't happy that I've been using them to feed sparks for so long. Also, that was Excellent. super easy. Is there going to be a second phase to this? I can only assume there's going to be a second phase, because that feels I like a... It. Those first sheep yep. Sent out a yep, and there's five. Now, my next question is going to be, is there... No, this is the last ore. Shit, I'm doing way worse this time. Oh, jeez. I'm not doing great. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh shit, if I get, that makes sense, if I get too close, they hit me. Oh, I'm up here. 
I might as well get these, but it definitely looks like... Oh, no, there's... Oh, made it up here. I'll take that. That. Okay. Well, at least I didn't have... Like, I was actually kind of wondering if it was going to make me have to do this in a single run. A power-up timer. But it didn't. Fine, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power up in. Cool. Now I just need a little over a hundred gems, I think. Yep. Which I think should be pretty easy to take care of. Especially with this super flame suit, Infiniflight. Okay, I see one up here. Then I saw another floater. Right there. Okay, sparks. Where to? How many do I have? Oh, that could very easily be the one indoors. In fact, I fully expect it is, which means I need to reset this timer and make a mad dash. Oh, never mind. This wasn't as far back as I thought it was. And that does it. And that... Gives me all the gems in the game. Which means... It is boss time. Let's see if I get super rage induced with this final boss like I did the last boss. It would not surprise me if I do. Fuck. Well, okay. I'll take the long way around. I deserve it after missing that jump two times in a row. You have everything. Okay. Uh, time for Ripto. Do not put that evil in my life. I do not want to fight the Nameless King. <laughs> in fact, that is the last thing I want to fight ever in any game. I personally enjoy the Dark Souls games and like Bloodborne and those, all the games in that, uh, by that developer, but as much as I enjoy them, they make me so angry. <laughs> and I have never gotten through all an right, entire so one because I just get so mad and end up rage quitting. 
And if I had to fight the nameless... Like, I couldn't even... I would never even get to the nameless king. I would rage quit far before that. Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate. Yep, I have very much, like, I had early, in the early games of all the Souls games, like, it, they all start, obviously, very hard, but, like, the first third to half of the game, before it gets too difficult, I very much love playing all of them. But then it just, I reach the point of raging, and I switch to much preferring to watch other people play it. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Now I understand what I need to be doing. What? Wait, what did the... I'm confused. What did the blue give me? Okay, so duh, I need to not go for blue. Because I don't know what the fuck that gave me. Or I guess not for the final one. Oh, I don't want... I don't know what the blue does. I'll let him grab it. I'll take the green. What? Okay, there we go. Got one hit. Oh, really? Put both of them right... Oh, he didn't go for the other one. Oh, because he got all three... Yeah, I, I personally, I would, I was seriously debating getting the Demon Souls remake because it'd be so fun to play on PS5. But I just, I realized it would be a waste of my money because I would play probably 20 hours of it and never touch it again, be out of rage. Okay, so red is my favorite of all of these colors. I want red. Also, this boss is super easy. Oh, uh, Demon, are you and Matt ever going to finish Bloodborne? Because last I saw, you two were stuck on the one DLC's final boss, and I haven't seen that he's played it since. Hope I don't want, I want red. Hey, Hunter. You drop, you're dropping, no, nope, I don't want blue, because I don't know what blue does for me. I don't want green, I want red, Hunter. Hunter! Thank you. There we go. Oh, that boss was so much easier than the one before, for me at least. Never mind, there's another phase. Holy shit. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I didn't expect a multi-phase Spyro boss. Shit. I still like red. Okay, cool. Thanks for dropping the sheep hunter. Ow, cool. Almost got hit by that one. Oh, 
shit. Nope, you beat me to it. I don't need to care what color the second one is. You know what? Green shouldn't be bad with a big enemy like this. Oh, wow. So I can two cycle this guy? That's good to know. I can just, if I just sit there spamming. God damn it, Hunter, don't drop them right in front of him. I still don't want blue because I have no idea what the fuck blue does for me. Is there a third phase? I can only imagine there's a third phase. Yes, there is. And now... Ooh, do I just get infinite flight if so this has got substantially harder Sit still and let me hit you, you bitch. Okay, one more hit. I can only imagine this is the final hit, considering there's no floor. And the ass drop into the lava. Okay. Well, even after all those phases, the previous boss was definitely way harder, in my opinion, than that final one. That final one was super easy. Just long. I don't think Actually, it wasn't even that long, now that I look at the time. It just felt long. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. I'm a dragon. Murder's not beyond me. Hunter? <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems. And be honest, I didn't us. mind paying Moneybags. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab him? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, now my question is at this point, to Dragon Shores. Hey, is there a bonus level in me? this game I like there was at the end of Spyro 1? Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember though that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah. Fuck them credits. I don't want to stay and <laughs> watch all of those. Ah. 
There does appear to be a bonus of some well sort. Well done, Spyro. Step right into Dragon Shores Park. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. Okay, so I need to win 10 tokens. Welcome to the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the Shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the... Okay. Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a... Pop all the balloons. It's definitely interesting that they chose to put just obviously a baby in the middle of those tracks. Well, that was an easy one. After going through uh, that cart one in an earlier world, more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. Watch out for the other coast. This isn't that hard. I guess I say that this is probably going to be very difficult because there's 50 of them. Okay, so I don't even get a decision on what path I take. It's just going to take me where it takes me. Oh, I almost jumped too early and damn near destroyed that baby. Oh, I do get to choose which direction I- oopsies. I just was doing it at the wrong timing. Oh, what? I was holding- damn it. I don't know the timing on this shit. So I just need to hold, not this one, because I've already done this one. I just need to hold left. Okay, there we go. I have some questions. Uh, that was how... That was nowhere near enough speed hey, to loop de loop. Here's another token. There's one more run. You're on a roll. This time you'll need to use the cannon installed on your car to shoot down but Watch out for the other coasters out there. Okay. Okay, so I need to stay left. Nope. Missed it again. There we go. Shit. Well, okay, I am just gonna have to make a whole nother loop anyways. These off to the side ones, the perspective is weird of where my shot's gonna go versus the balloon. Did I get it? I don't honestly can't say if I got that or not. I have no idea. Ah, 
God damn it. Oh, I don't. The timing is so strange. I swear, god damn it, I have to wait just a little longer, but it looks like I'm too far gone. Ah. Who would have thought perspective could fuck me so much? There we finally go. Now we can move on, but I'm still going to have to do a... Well, I guess I'm going to have to go back, because I, I missed one for sure. One red balloon off the main track for sure. And then I have that other loop that I still need to hit. Yes! Okay, another red one, another red one, another red one. No more red ones. Awesome. Wow, you're There's that. You've conquered the coast. I wonder what other mini games they have for me to play. That was fun. Wanna I like that. You know, roller coasters aren't for Have your tokens. I don't need to play your games no more, man. Free, free, free! You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many... Hop aboard, my... Well, okay, then. I will hop aboard, get this free token, and then go find a minigame. Unless this is a minigame in disguise. Or is this just a throwback to all the people I met along the way. This might just be a throwback to all the people I met along the way. As promised, here's your one token. When you have ten to- Okay, six more to go. I this looks like a shooting all. range. I hear you're a pretty good shot. Okay. I'll set the timer for you. Uh, probably. Uh, it's not, uh, it, don't, don't judge. This is a very strange world, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are a lot of weird characters in this game. Yeah, but I mean, Agent Zero likes being all secretive and stuff, so he probably just doesn't want anybody else to know what he'd be near him. I honestly, I completely, I had an idea of where to go with the joke there, and then I completely lost the joke. Okay. Well, that was easier than the first round. I thought they were gonna hop up and down, Ready for the next or hop in and out. Okay. Those guys, I suspect, would have hopped up and down, or I guess. Popped in and out of the holes if I hadn't been quick enough. Come on back anytime. Okay, what's the last mini game? Let's see, there's the coaster. I'll go through that door later. Is this the theater? I suspect this is the theater. Hey there, young fella. I'd sure like to let you into the. Okay. Yep. Can't go in there yet. Step 
Right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terror... Bye bye, Yeti man. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this. Okay, so that's eight. Have another shot if you. I am happy to see that fucking rock giant go down. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Those rock giants were a huge pain in the ass. Have another shot. If I don't. Oh, I do. He wanted to eat my friends. I remember oh. now. I had to save a bunch of my turtle friends from wow, that guy. You really are a great shot. Take this. It and that's all them tokens. Have another shot. If but before I go there. Oh, shit, man. Infinite Super Flame! Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping it'd keep me the cool colors infinite, too. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous dra- Well, let's see what's in this show. Okay, so it's literally, this is just replaying all the cutscenes. Yes. Yes, it is. I am very surprised that there was not a trophy involved with getting all the tickets. I need to see now. What trophies... Probably be... No? Yeah, unlock permanent super. Well, okay then. That's just... All that's left for trophies is just doing specific tasks in each level. Kind of a shame. I wish there was a trophy involved with getting all the tokens. That would have been rewarding. Not that getting the tokens were hard in the least. But with that, I am done with this game. So, before I end the stream, I have one thing I need to do, and that is go to the PlayStation Store, and we are going to watch the Final Fantasy 16 trailer. Because I haven't seen it yet, and I didn't even know it had been announced. <laughs> well, shit. Graphics are the usual awesome graphics I can see. So let's enjoy. the target, Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sergeant, they've summoned their icon. Icon? That thing's a bloody mountain. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. 
Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our cause? What does it matter? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Black. Duke's son. Phoenix. Stop this! Second night on a fire. But that's impossible. Holy shit. Oh, I am so looking forward to this. Oh, and I love because it's cool that most of the Final Fantasy games are set in like a mixed futuristic yet also ancient style world. But it is so cool that this one they chose to just go full medieval theming and they didn't seem to have any futurism mixed in it's, it's a cool mix-up because they've been doing it the same style for so long oh i'm so excited oh oh i just got done playing 15 and I, honestly this has just inspired me i think i won't i don't think i'll stream it but on my free time i might start in on 4 12 because 12 is the one with the remake that was mentioned earlier or seven with the remake or i might just go back and replay 13 just break out my ps3 <laughs> which hasn't been used in years at all that's so that's so exciting that's going to be so awesome. Oh, I'm hyped. I am hyped right now. But at that, I could jump into the third Spyro game. But half an just half an hour of the third Spyro doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. I am. 
very much probably gonna go right to the store after I end this stream and purchase uh, the remakes that are or pretty much purchase all the Final Fantasy games that are available to me because I just I need to own them but with that I'm going to call it for the night and on that hype and I will be back tomorrow with the start of Spyro 3. I can only assume that it'll be a similar length to this Spyro game, so it'll be three, four streams worth. And then I honestly don't know what I'll move on to after that, because I have a lot of games that are available. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you come back for the continuation of all the Spyro playthroughs. So with that, mm, bye.